Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're all well. OK, so in the last one, we ended up in Folkestone and I've just had a quick look through. And um, yeah, the one that I want to do is, yeah, this one here. So it will be driving a Scania. So that'll please some. <laughs> so uh, let's jump straight into it, shall we? Yes, yeah, so I hope you're all well. Hope you're all having a good one. Okay, so yeah, I haven't got anything against Scanias, but um, oh no, I have a, about this one though, because we don't seem to have GPS. Fail. Um, that's a bit of an issue, isn't it? Oh, sorry about this, everyone, but we're going to have to have this on the screen because for some reason that isn't on. I think that might actually be a bug. Um, right, so let's go through this. Let's press play on the music. Okay. And let's get going. Yeah, I haven't got anything against Scanias, but um, it's just not my kind of preferred truck. I think they get a little bit too much credit. Right. Yeah, for what they actually um, give. The same with some cars. Like, some cars, I think, are quite overrated. But, yeah, they certainly do the job they're meant to. Right. Right, so it's the middle of the night, and um, I think we're on one of the roads on... Looking at that tiny little screen, maybe it hasn't got GPS. Yeah, I did a short on this road. There's never traffic here. <laughs> so I was driving along like a complete idiot. I think that was the first short I ever made. Right. Okay, that's not a gear. There we go. Yeah, it's complete fail. Yeah, so it will be very, very soon that we have our own truck and I can have a GPS unit set up on the windscreen and then we can get rid of the map at the bottom of the screen there and we can start earning some proper money. But like I said in the last couple of episodes, um, I'm going to be playing this on hard economy so the money isn't going to build up really quick to make us millionaires overnight. Um, there's enough series like that where everyone's driving around in Christmas tree Scanias and Volvos yeah I don't want to um, do that okay here we go it's on to the M20 a miserable road just seems to go on for miles and what this game doesn't portray is the bloody potholes on this road and uh let's think m20 yeah m20 floods as well so i used to do a lot of work in folkestone and um yeah on my way home in my car i'll be like bombing along at 70 and yeah it used to flash flood so yeah, the amount of accidents I saw where people had aquaplaned. Yeah, it's a terrible road. And it's a lot of people's first impressions of the UK Coca-Cola. Got any rum, mate? I do actually prefer Pepsi. So yeah, there you go, Pepsi. A little shout out for you. Yeah, caffeine-free Pepsi with lamb's, uh, lamb's spiced rum. That's Jolly's favourite. Right. right. Cheers, mate. Yeah, and I had to very briefly drive a Scania years ago, a manual, 
very very briefly I was helping out a lorry driver and um, my goodness like it's kind of got a clutch that isn't a clutch that oh my goodness <laughs> it's so confusing <laughs> yeah I think it's just for manoeuvring but my goodness it was not something I wanted to be trying to learn under pressure Right, so that's saying A20, middle lane, straight ahead. So I presume I need to go into the far right lane. So that's what I'm going to do. Come on, lights. Yeah, like, ignore the map at the bottom. It's not far off photorealism, is it? Right, so we're going to go through the tunnel. Both of these go that way, so we can stay in this lane. If the lights change, I'm going through. Exit now. Okay. So we need to get over two lanes. goes to 50 in a second. Mining, right, so this is the new um, tunnel, so the old one is the one on the left. Right, it's up the uh, speed a little bit. Sayat, Range Rover. Yeah, and obviously when you've got your own truck, you have to pay the toll crossings as well. So like I mentioned in, I think it was the last one, um, sometimes it's best to avoid tolls if you can. I can't remember whether the M6 toll is on here. I don't think it is. I've only actually used that a couple of times in real life. And it was because it was a emergency. So basically, I was delivering um, delivering something that was time critical that then became even more time critical. It wasn't my fault or the planner's fault or anything like that, but they just suddenly needed the product a lot quicker than we originally expected. So yeah, I had to use the M6 toll. It was um, bizarre how quiet it was. And you didn't see any old clapped out cars either. It was all like modern cars that were um, yeah, quite expensive. Part of the elite. The the what was that exit. car called? Sigma. Little Ford KA there. I have one of them. That's say Ibiza at the front. Yeah, I think the traffic mod is excellent, but it can't be found on the Steam Workshop, so you have to look elsewhere, unfortunately. Right, now, they're signalling that way. We had a problem at this roundabout before, didn't we? So let's go into this lane. Nice. I like them, but I think you have to be a... Why have our hazard lights on? I think you have to be a bit of an arse. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right, no, no, the lanes are just buggered. So we just hit someone, but it wasn't really my fault. G-Wagon. We'll probably hit someone else now, nope.
Yeah, it's a shame that there isn't a traffic behaviour mod that's reliable. And also, by the way, these trucks pick up a lot quicker on this game than in real life. So, yeah, the torque's completely different where it is in the revs. Right, why is this 40? Why is it 40? Yeah, I don't know. My goodness, the music stepped up a little bit, isn't it? We should probably... Oh, we already had our lights on. Well, I'm going to do 50. That's something I hate about the smart motorway. So I don't know whether any of you have experienced this, but on smart motorways, <clears throat> it basically has a variable speed limit. So above all the lanes, there are digital readouts that tell you the speed and it can, it can just drop to next to nothing. So I've been on a motorway before. Um, I haven't got any points on my license. I've been on a motorway before and the speed has dropped down to 30 miles an hour and because I don't want points I've accepted it slowed down slowed down to whatever the speed says and you're the only one doing it right so I need to turn off this emergency braking it's messing me up let's change the track yeah, but it's um, dropped down and everyone still keeps doing 70 or more past you. And I have seen people get caught speeding. I've seen it flash. But, um, yeah, it's really scary. I hate them. And sometimes it's really difficult to see what the next speed thing is. So you drive along and you're thinking, right, I think that says 50. And then you get to it and it says 4 miles an hour or something stupid. So you have to pretty much slam on. Yeah, and as you can see, like we're bouncing around a little bit. And that's because, um, yeah, lorries, um, I think all of them, all like big lorries have um, air seats. And it's really nice. It's um, it basically, it's like suspension for your ass, And, uh, yeah, I always, because I'm quite light, I'm not a heavy guy, I always used to have mine on so that I really did bounce around. And, yeah, it was, uh, it was really nice, especially if you had to drive off-road. Right. And you can adjust it for different weights and comfort. Exit now. I need to see whether there's a um, clutch mod on this because the clutch just doesn't feel right. Right, so Norwich it is. Um, what time are we at? 15 minutes ish. It seems to have the torque, so yeah, we'll skip that gear. Speed camera.
Yeah, I very nearly got caught speeding once because, um, yeah, the village I entered, it was middle of the night. And then I can't remember where it was, but it was somewhere up north. I was driving along and I had to go through this village and, um, yeah, it was a 40 mile an hour going into it. But then there was a sign that had been flattened and um, it had actually gone down to 30. And, uh, yeah, I need to be able to lean forward. So I think I might try and rig that into the face tracking. Oh, you're joking me. You don't do that, mate. Right, cheers. But yeah, I was driving along. It felt normal because obviously it was um, middle of the night. And then I saw that there was a speed camera ahead and there was just a little warning just before it. And uh, yeah, so I slammed on, took it down to less than 30. And then, yeah, I had to park up overnight and I always used to have a dash camera running. I actually had two. So I had one that was my work phone that was constantly recording and then a normal dash camera. And uh, I looked back and saw that the sign had been flattened. So yeah, that would have been so difficult to prove. Right, flat old Norfolk. I like Norfolk. Yeah, and that exists in real life as well. And I always used to think it was a sale as a kid when I was going up to Norfolk. Right, we are speeding. Let's pop the cruise control on and then it should adapt to the car in front. There we go. So I'm not doing anything. It's adapting for us. Perfect. Just like it would in real life. So it does make driving so much easier. And I hope in the future I have a car that has it. Yeah, some of the petrol stations on here, that one was fine, but some of the petrol stations on here aren't actually suitable for lorries, so you've got to be really careful about that kind of thing as well. And the signs as well, that wouldn't happen in the UK. You wouldn't have your um, vision completely blocked by a sign at a roundabout. My goodness, sorry about the camera, it's gone a little bit um, twitchy again, hasn't it? So just to give you a rough idea, my CPU is currently running at 7% with everything going on, and my GPU is 11%. So it, it's not to do with my computer. Another alpha. Okay. And the voice that I'm using isn't a mod, but she's called Sky. So I think it says UK and then Sky next to it. Wait, I'm not overtaking. My goodness, what's going on? It just slammed on. I need to get rid of this emergency braking. Yeah, another mod that I want is one that enables you to sleep anywhere. So that bit back there, that would have been ideal for taking a yeah, 45 minute break or whatever, or even staying there overnight. But um, yeah, you have to sleep at the designated rest stops in here. And obviously that's not realistic. And in the UK, there aren't enough lay bys that you can sleep in in this game. So, if I didn't have a high value load, so look, there would be perfect. If I didn't have a high value load, I, or if I was empty, 
I'd always try and save the original boss money with um yeah, sleeping. Because obviously you have to pay quite a lot of money to park at services overnight. So I always used to look for laybys. Because yeah, he treated me with a lot of respect. I respected the company, so yeah, I just tried to do my little bit. Save money, it didn't always work. Right, Norwich discovered. Nice. I think we've got used car batteries on us at the moment. Yeah, when we've got our own truck, I'll adjust the mirrors how I would in real life, but I can't keep messing around with every lorry. We're driving for the man. All right, there, mate. What are you up to? You look a bit shifty there. Okay. Yeah, that's a garage there as well, so you can get your truck repaired. I remember stopping there before. Juicin. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna just go straight in, doesn't it? Exit now. Tune. Right, and where do they want it? You have arrived at your Round to back. And we'll try and get some beacons on the truck that we buy. And then we'll be able to um yeah, stop using the hazards. I don't think you can turn the volume down for the hazards. You might be able to. Right, let's spin this round. It's weird playing a game properly. Because <laughs> obviously, recently, while I've been playing so many indie games, I've been, um, yeah, like messing around and stuff, but where obviously lorry driving's serious, it's weird getting back into kind of role play I suppose okay I've buggered this up no I haven't right there we go and um so I did hit that so that was the handbrake coming on engine off and I just want to quickly show you something um, so back into this angle turn them off right so it does have photo mode so if I go on to this and then go around the back so I don't know whether it shows it in this game but there's little rubber blocks no it doesn't show it but on loading bays there's usually little rubber blocks and you keep backing up until you tap it so you go very slowly obviously but yeah it just means that um means that when they put the ramp down which goes into the back of your truck so in real life you'd turn around and then you'd jump out and you'd open both the back doors and then you'd go in but that's not in the game but yeah so um then they'll open the door and then that little ramp there comes in and that means that they can either put pallet trucks or um sometimes even a forklift in the back of your lorry Right, let's quickly get a screenshot, seeing as we're here. That'll do. Okay, and then we need to, uh, yeah, give the stuff, don't we? Right. There we go. Okay, and what time are we at? 25 minutes. So how much money have we got? 28 not quite enough so the next job we will actually be able to afford the truck i hope you like it i really do but just remember if you don't like it we're not going to be in it long at all 
Okay, so let's have a quick look through here. So we, we can go to Birmingham, Grimsby. Grimsby and a Renault. Um, or a Merck. Um, but that doesn't pay that much, does it? Sheffield. We've been to Sheffield already. Southampton we've been to. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Locomotive. And we haven't been to Southampton. We've been to Portsmouth. So let's do this one. So this is a really heavy load, 61 tonne. Um, and possibly a wide load as well. Uh, 598 horsepower. So it's a long journey, but yeah, let's let's try this one. So obviously I'm not going to be able to complete it in this episode, but we'll be able to get it started. And let's quickly jump out and have a quick look. There we go. So it's a little bit wide. Um, but that should be all right. We've got beacons on the roof. Excellent. So we'll probably have beacons on the back of the trailer as well. But stop messing around, Johnny. Just get it out. And yes. Bra, 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 bra. Okay. Right. How am I getting out of here? Right. Great start, Johnny. Well done. Well done, mate. And this will probably have fancy rear wheel steering as well, which I don't actually like. So when you know something, <laughs> it's best to kind of stick to that. Right, so we'll um, turn them off for a moment. Yeah, it seems to be pulling it, all right? So I've never done such a heavy load in real life, so I'm not going to pretend I'm some kind of expert. Yeah, there's far too many, in my opinion, there's far too many people on here, on YouTube, that play ETS and pretend that they've actually done it or something like that, and you can tell that they haven't. But yeah, it gets some views, I suppose, doesn't it? Get ready. Madam. Bopping away. Right, so while we're at these um, lights, let's um, pop the handbrake on and have a quick look at our rig. Yeah, so as you can see at the back there, I'll turn it off and then back on again. We've got a little beacon, so um, because it's a slightly wider load and because we're jolly, we're going to leave them on. Almost stalled it, well done. So yeah, this wouldn't require an escort, but um, if it was any bigger, um, you'd want someone going ahead on you, uh, going ahead of you, and telling people to uh, yeah, be cautious. Some of them drivers are excellent, the ones that go ahead, but some of them are really sodding rude. And I remember once I was driving along in a car, and one came round the corner, right in the middle of the road, almost ahead on with me. And he swore and told me to move the something over. And my goodness, I'd had a rough day anyway, but I almost got him to get out of his car. But road rage is never worth it, never worth it at all. Right, so we're going off here. Ford Scorpio. So rare these days. Um, we should have lights on as well. I've got a song stuck in my head because of what we're pulling.
For a second I thought that was a Unimog. I think there are Unimogs on this game. Little Cleo, nice. Right, I don't know if we've got another gear. We'll try in a minute. So I'm going way too fast approaching this. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Right. Exit now. Defender. Right, now, it's going to look like I put it in the wrong gear, but I just want to see what we've got. Yeah, we have. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so we'll try and find somewhere to park up, because we are at the end of the episode. And then I can get a better screenshot, I think. Yeah, but I'm enjoying playing this. I really am. So, thank you, Ask Rob, for the um, thought. Really appreciate it. Right, so we're going to pop into this petrol station over here. So let's slow down a little bit. Yeah, and it's a good stream as well. So, yeah, I highly recommend checking out Ask Rob. And, oh, we hit that sign. I won't try and get away with it. And he's a um, friend of Scapegoat as well. So plays very similar games to Scapegoat and sometimes um, does streams with him. So yeah, if Scapegoat likes him, I like him too. <laughs> right, we're knocking over all the signs of this. That's when you know you need a break, isn't it? Right, let's pop in here. Okay. Yeah, so this service is... It's got parking up the back for lorries. And... Now, remember, I'm not used to rear wheel steering, but I'll try my best. So we're going to nose it around here. What car's that? Don't know what that's meant to be. Anyway, right. So, yeah, nose it around here. And then I've got to be really careful at this point. Let's just straighten it up. And then I'm going to have to go straight back so that I don't take out either of these vehicles on the left or right. Right, it's so a straight back until I think I've cleared it. And then let's pop it in the middle one, if possible. Okay, so yeah, it is rear wheel steering. So I've messed this up. The first one is moving a little bit. And the last two... Actually, I think all four of them are moving. I'm not sure. Anyway, right, let's get it in. Right, I would be jumping out and checking how much room I've got behind me. Because I can't see. Right, I reckon that. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But I have parked too far over. Anyway, right, I need to have a break. And unfortunately, I need to do some boring real life stuff. So... I'll end it here. So thanks for watching, everyone. I do really appreciate each and every view. Let's pause that. And if you've liked this, please feel free to join me in the next one. So cheers, everyone, and bye for now.